NCLEX, Trivia Gastrointestinal System. Question one. A patient with a history of peptic ulcers is admitted with acute abdominal pain. Which of the following assessment findings would suggest perforation? A, rebound tenderness. B, decreased bowel sounds. D, board-like rigidity. C, guarding. Answer, D, board-like rigidity. Rationale. Board-like rigidity is a classic sign of peritoneal irritation, often associated with perforation of a hollow organ. It indicates that the abdomen is tense and resistant to palpation. Question 2. A patient with Crohn's disease is scheduled for surgery. Which of the following nursing interventions is most important to prevent post-operative complications? A. Administering a stool softener. B. Encouraging deep breathing exercises. C. Monitoring intake and output. D. Providing skin care to the perineal area. Answer C. Monitoring intake and output. Rationale. Patients with Crohn's disease are at risk for dehydration due to diarrhea and fluid loss from the inflammatory process. Monitoring intake and output is crucial to prevent electrolyte imbalances and other complications. Question 3. A patient with cirrhosis is experiencing ascites. Which of the following dietary modifications should be recommended? A. Increasing protein intake. B. Restricting sodium intake. C. Limiting fluid intake. D. Avoiding foods high in potassium. The answer is B. Restricting sodium intake. Sodium restriction is a key component of managing ascites in patients with cirrhosis. Excessive sodium intake can exacerbate fluid retention and worsen ascites. Question 4. A patient with a colostomy is experiencing constipation. Which of the following interventions is most appropriate? A. Increasing fluid intake. B. Administering a laxative. C. Performing a digital disimpaction. D. Irrigating the colostomy. The answer is A. Increasing fluid intake. Increasing fluid intake can help soften stool and prevent constipation in patients with a colostomy. Digital disimpaction should be avoided as it can cause rectal perforation. Question 5. A patient with acute pancreatitis is experiencing severe pain. Which of the following positions would be most comfortable for the patient? A. Supine with knees flexed. B. Sitting upright. C. Left side lying. D. Fowler's position. The answer is A. Supine with knees flexed. This position can help reduce abdominal tension and discomfort in patients with acute pancreatitis.